Now at 4.30 on the Now Indy, protecting your family, especially your children and grandchildren on Halloween, here's the sex offender registry. Now there's about 11,000 names statewide. A recovering sex offender says police efforts to attend mandatory meetings on Halloween is good for public safety. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins me now live with more. Hey, Raf. Hey, Kat, as we're talking about Jack Reynolds, he claims that he molested about 300 children before he was arrested. He says offenders who complain about being monitored, he says they need to stop complaining. I'm the one who put the sex offender label on me. I'm also the one who strives every day to remove that label. Jack Reynolds fears the temptation. So on Halloween, he plans to be in his bedroom. The Madison County man says his home is off limits. The man who says he was sexually abused as a child says he molested about 300 children. His last victim in 1989. After serving 12 years in prison, he says he's focused on not hurting another child. And if I'm alone in a store and I have eye candy walking around me and I catch myself, I will push my cart and say no out loud. Okay, that warns me that I'm in a danger zone. And people around me, they can look at me and think I'm crazy, but I, I do not care. I know what I'm doing. Reynolds travels the country speaking with support groups. He also walks with permanent reminders, tattooed to his wrists. I pray, and I take my wrists, and I read them aloud. Not today, and not ever again. Reynolds says that all offenders must recognize their urges and must deal with them honestly. He says no lying. They must also ask for help when they need it, and they must also find a support group. And another way that he sort of modifies his behavior, Candace, he has all kinds of rubber bands on both arms, and when he feels that he has an urge to offend, he says he just snaps himself, just to remind himself not to do it, to minimize the risk to a child or to himself. And how effective are these mandatory meetings on Halloween? Well, here at Marin County, of course, it's the 12th year for the mandatory meeting, and last year they had a 100% attendance of those men wow. that and people required to come to the meeting. So it goes well. It'll be tomorrow night. They'll keep the offenders home while kids go trick-or-treating in Indianapolis. Great news. Rafael Sanchez, thank you so much.